If you are familiar with Nagaland and the tribes here, you must have heard about the traditional stone pulling ceremony which is practiced by the Angami Nagas even to this day. But have you heard about the traditional gate pulling? Well, this hornbill, the Tsutunumia kill, that's why the rain, as you can see, have gathered here to show us what this ancient practice is about and what is its significance to this day. Let's take a look. Despite a heavy downpour, hundreds of men and women from 43 villages clad in traditional attires gathered at Mirulitsa along the NH29 connecting Kohima and Dimapur where the traditional gate pulling ceremony began. The ceremony commenced with a prayer by Reverend Kevin Mese Suho. In the olden days, traditional gates called kharu were constructed over drainages surrounded by thorny bushes and plants to prevent enemies and intruders from entering the village. As most Naga villages were established on mountain tops, the kharu were usually located not far from the hamlets with a stone wall built strategically to prevent any unauthorized entry into the villages. However, the present-day gates represent a physical and symbolic threshold between the outside world and the community within. From Mirulitsa, hundreds of men from the Angami tribe pulled the traditional gate till they reached Seithoge, where the gate will be erected. <laughs> On reaching the gate, Nagaland Chief Minister and host of the Hornbill Festival, Nefirio, unveiled the unity stones which were erected near the Suto gate while Ambassador of Republic of Peru to India, Javier Polinich, unveiled the Suto gate monolith. Traditional performances and a community feast hosted by the Sutonomia Khel Committee followed the formal ceremony. Besides the Angami Nagas, other Tinyame tribes and Gorkhas also attended the event. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.